Hello and welcome back to another Space Angelies Mod Showcase video. In today's video we're looking at something very useful for the water mod and that is boat parts. So bringing the free camera over to here and on my very rudimentary pirate ship we've got quite a few parts that are added with this mod that we can use to make a very fancy ship with. We've got sails, cannons, periscopes, doors that open via hatches and of course little turbines to push you along through the water. So once we've added this in through the mod menu, we'll then get a nice little option down here where we've got some boat parts to play with. So let's go through them shall we? So coming over to here, this is what we're going to start with. We've got ourselves a bulkhead door. This is simply a standard door, but if we click it, we get a little animation, some very scrapey sounds, and then it opens up to allow you to go in and out. And of course we can close it up and it'll spin around again and lock. It is quite slow to open and close so if you are sinking please make sure you open all the doors in advance if you're able to see into the future. Yes we get two versions of this we've got the standard and the offset so they both do the same thing it's just where they sit on the block. Moving across over to here we then got a similar door but this one is called the hatch and we simply got a circular entrance in and out so we'd use this maybe on the top of a submarine to get in and out and then you just use those on the inside of your submarine just to make sure water doesn't leak through. Yes, it's the same story once again. We can go up to it and click it. It'll spin around and then open up to allow you to get in and out. So there we go. And of course, we've got the offset version over here. Turning around and coming to the opposite side, we then got this lovely thing, which is our cannon, which fires a cannonball. The cannonball can be created via an assembler and we have to load it in one at a time. So brace your ears for this, this is going to be a very loud. We can then go across and fire it and it will shoot out and go a long distance away, essentially working like a missile launcher. Yes, we've got a very nice little model to go along with this. We simply walk up to it and click it to load it in, but we will need to use a button panel or control seat to fire this thing. We do have a few other controls with this, so if I was to say spawn in a cockpit very quickly or a control seat, control seat will probably be a lot better for this. There we go, we just go and shove that in there. Let's turn around for a bit. There we go. We can add the cannons to our hotbar and we do have a few controls with them. So if I come into this and press 1, we can move it up and down, very limited with the up and down, but we cannot move it left and right. So brace your ears again. We just fire it straight out and it'll go and blast whatever you want to shoot. Coming over to here, we've got some sails. We've got two different types and they are very unique. They act as atmospheric thrusters, but they do not require power to function. They do require the grid to have power, however, but they simply will not draw. It's simply the limitation of the block. So we've got a small sail and we've got a main sail and they simply look fantastic. And they go along and they do provide a tiny amount of thrust, which is just a little less than a regular atmospheric thruster. I guess we have this all around and down to the ground. Both the sails do not have any kind of animation with them, so when you move forwards, the sails do not like puff up with air or anything like that. They just remain static, but it is quite nice just to play around in case you wanted to do a low powered ship or maybe just wanted to have a singular battery power the entire thing. If I was to drop down and move towards the front over to here, then got our periscope access, which essentially is a control seat where we come up to it and click it. And then we get this lovely view right here. Pressing G and trying to add something to the hotbar, we cannot add anything else. This is just going to be to access our control panel and sort stuff out. So yes, getting a better look at this model, it simply just sticks in onto the ceiling block. You cannot attach it onto a wall, so you will need to make sure there is a roof on here. Otherwise, it's going to stick out and look very odd when you try and get onto it. If I come like that, and in third person, yeah, we're just going to be hanging off the side. This has got a very nice model to go with it and you do grab onto the little handles, which is very nice. Now the next block to go along with it is of course our periscope itself. This is a replacement camera where if we were to say come over to here, press I and find the periscope over here and then just go and control it. We can now view it forwards just like a camera. So we can zoom all the way in, we can turn it all the way around but we cannot move up and down, so we are quite limited with that. But it does fit what this block is trying to simulate. So yes, we can go all the way around and zoom all the way forwards. Coming out of there and getting a better look at the block, we just come up to here and sit down. There we are, we just got our little periscope and it does turn around 
if you move it. Yes, coming out of there and moving across over to here, we've got ourselves a helm, which is a little wheel that we can come up to, press it, and now we can take control of it and drive our ship around. So we can turn it around, but unfortunately there is no animation, it's simply static. But we do grab hold of it, and what is going on with that hand right there? I'm not too sure. Anyway, yes, we could drive our ship around so we can move it forwards, and our thrusters or propellers and sails will kick in and allow us to drive forwards. And if we have a gyroscope attached, we can use our mouse to turn ourselves around and control where we're going, moving it up and down, and all that. Coming out of there and getting a better look at that model. So it simply just sits there, you can plop it anywhere you want on the block, and you'll be able to drive it. It's very nice, it does look a lot better than a standard cockpit when you're trying to make a proper pirate ship or a little tiny dinghy boat. But yes, that is there to drive. Moving across to this, we have our buoy, which is purely there for decoration, but it does float when you shove it onto water. So we can just come across and just dump all this into the water, and they'll simply float. There we go. You could, if you want to, just line the bottom of your ship with this and hope it floats. So you do need to have quite a lot of them to make it float. This ship itself has got one hell of a lot of hydrogen tanks to keep it in the... I couldn't say keep it in the air, but you get what I mean. It keeps it from sinking, but you will need to have a lot of those boys to, well, stop it from going to the bottom. Yes, we just have it over to here. We've got our little rope going all around the edge. But we can, if we want to, just recolor it if we're not too happy with it. We can make it maybe a blue color, and then there we go. We now get a nice blue boy. Walking over to here, so this is the next block, which is essentially a window block, which is a very chunky boy, so that is how thick it is. And we get a little viewing port right there. It is quite difficult to look through this, so you're not going to get a very clear view of the opposite side due to the dirt on the window and of course of how thick the glass actually is, but it is suitable if you're making a submarine, or if you're going to make a more traditional spaceship, it actually suits it quite well in fact. Yes, it is simply a window block, and it will suit the half blocks, if I come over to here and just paste this in, like so, it will suit that, so it will just snap along there and fit in perfectly. And then one of the last things we get added with this mod pack is all the way over here, there's all the little boys just floating around over there, are the propellers. Yes, the propellers will only function if they're in the water and they are identical to atmospheric thrusters in terms of how much thrust they give. So we've got the large one here which will give a large atmospheric thrusters worth of thrust and we simply plop it down. It's quite a big block so you will have to make sure there is plenty of room but it will spin around and get faster when we move forwards. We have a medium version which is all the way down here which is well yeah, it's just a medium version of it. And then we've got a very tiny one, which does come with a little ring that goes all the way around it. And once again, it does spin faster when we move. Coming all the way up to here and just moving it forward so we can see it spin around faster. Come over like that and tilting the camera down. That's what it looks like when we're stationary. And then moving forwards, we then get faster and faster and faster. And yes, so do the other ones down there, especially that tiny one. Look at that go. Wow, he's really energetic today. And that pretty much covers all the blocks we get with this mod pack. But I will touch on one thing right now, is the thrusters. From the sails and the propellers, you only need to have them facing in one direction with a gyroscope. You do not need to have the left and right, and you do not need to have backwards. So if I was to move forwards, you probably saw already, we go quite fast with all these all together. But when I stop, we do come to a stop. So you do not need to worry about having even thruster distribution all around your ship, you just need to make sure you can float. And you need to be very careful with that, and I would highly recommend building on land before dropping it into the water, or at least having some kind of rescue ship to pull your ship out of the water. I know because this is the third ship I've made, and the only one which is currently floating. And I don't really think I need to go over the costs, because they are fairly standard stuff going all the way along here, nothing too expensive. The larger blocks are a bit more expensive, such as the large ship propeller. We can see that it uses quite a lot of metal grids and large steel tubes, as well as the larger sail using a lot of steel plates and large steel tubes. But other than that, there's not too much else to talk about. These can be used on a small block, so we can see there we do have a small block version of our propellers, and of course of our smaller sail, and our bulkhead doors. Yes, that is pretty much it for this mod pack. And there'll be a link to it in the description below if you do want to play around with it yourself. And one final thing, because I do like firing it, so brace your ears one more time, so we're going to fire all of them together. So, ooh, that's a spicy sound right there. 
and they do go for quite some time so yes you can have a lot of fun with these like i said there will be a link to it in the description below and i'll be back with another video some point soon bye bye